All right, let's talk some Justin Herbert. He's increasingly become one of the more uh, film study videos to make because he's just fun to watch. I mean, the, the guy makes just these, these explosive plays consistently, and it kind of makes you think, is it time to start putting him in the MVP consideration? I think it's time to at least think about putting him in the MVP consideration, right? Consider putting him in the consideration, I suppose, um, because, I mean— Maybe it's just the Eagles defense, and that's something we'll get into, but he made some just just some awesome plays. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into the film study and talk about what he did so well against Philadelphia. So let's start things off with this one. What's going to happen here is that a uh, couple things to note. So first off, this is going to be a cover one blitz right here. The player I've circled in yellow, that's going to be the blitzing defensive back on this play. So for Herbert, uh, you know, Actually, you look at his numbers, he doesn't do as well against the Blitz as he does when teams don't Blitz him, which is a bit surprising because, you know, he is so good under pressure. But this is going to be an example of him, well, doing well under pressure. Because watch how at first you do see the pressure, pressure, and it's it's coming basically immediate. And this is one of those plays where it's like, you know, I always try to view quarterback play as how is it compared to replacement level? Does a replacement level quarterback uh, you know, complete this play the way the actual quarterback did, or does the replacement level quarterback do it worse? I think a replacement level quarterback gets sacked here, quite frankly. I certainly don't think a replacement level quarterback makes this play. And what's tough about this is there is a receiver who is open, right? He's doing a pretty good job, uh, Keenan Allen is, of getting open on this play. So if there was more time for Herbert to throw, he should be able to complete this. However, there isn't, so it just kind of sucks. Unfortunate. Oh, well, take the sack and move on, right? No, of course of course not. Uh, that's not what Justin Herbert does. Watch him notice this, and in a, in a spot where it seems like it would have been totally understandable if he never noticed it, throws off balance, makes a perfect throw to Keenan Allen, gets the ball down the field. I mean, this is just the stuff that Herbert does consistently, and it's one of those, uh, you know, just incredible things about Herbert is how successful he can be at this type of stuff. Now, it should bring up stuff like this. This is a very real thing that happened with Herbert and with the Chargers. Is There certainly were some plays where just guys got open and Herbert didn't have to do much. So that's good for the rest of the team. Also says something about Philadelphia. And maybe you could argue, well, Herbert didn't actually play that well. Uh, you know, there were just guys open. And to some degree, that is the case. Like, this one's a good example. It's Keenan Allen in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and watch what happens. Herbert's going to take the snap right here. Allen cuts over the middle and gets wide open immediately. No one's covering that middle of the field area where uh, Allen is. He's, you know, there is a guy over the middle of the field, but he's a lot further towards the top of the screen. So, uh, this because of this, it now allows you to really easily make the throw. Still a perfect throw from Herbert, so that worked out well. But again, uh, you expect the quarterback to make a perfect throw uh, from a good angle 10 yards away from a receiver. It was a really good route by Allen there, but again, it all works together. Quarterbacks can't succeed without receivers. Receivers can't succeed without quarterbacks. But now we got to go over to this one. I mean, there were just some plays that were just like absurd. Like I'm like, how in the world did this happen? And he's turned into one of those guys where he'll make some plays that just like, I don't even really comprehend how it was made. Uh, so on this play, what's going to happen is that it's a cover two zone and it's Donald Parham, uh, tight end, who's going to be running a fade route here, which could potentially get into a gap in coverage in this cover two zone blitz. However, right when this play starts, so Darius Slay, the corner who was in that area, creates some contact pretty quickly. This is kind of one of those, like, I don't even know why you throw this ball, quite frankly. Worth mentioning, another tight end wide open on the left side of the field, but again, can't always see the entire field every time. That's kind of how this works. What Herbert is going to do is he's going to basically see if he can, you know, put one in a spot where only Parham could make the catch and hope it works out. And look at this throw. I mean, that's just like a thing of beauty. Talk about a mailbox throw. Great catch as well. If that throws six inches in any direction, it's incomplete. That's the reality of the situation. It had to be exactly where you wanted it to be. Just a beautiful throw from Justin Herbert on that one. And now we got to go over to this one. This one was another just just absurd play. I mean, this one was maybe one of the best plays of the year, quite frankly, by a quarterback. What's going to happen is a lot to talk about here. So first, the defensive uh, call is going to be a cover one hole. So man coverage across the board, single safety deep. Uh, usually this kind of concept is designed to beat zone. 
Herbert does have a receiver lined up towards his right who's going to be running a deep route over the middle. Typically, this kind of route is just designed to take care of the deep safety. Uh, then what you do is you have a receiver running over the middle, which in zone can work well. Even in man, it can still work. Uh, and then man in motion who's going to kind of just run out to the flat in that area. However, another important aspect of this play is Herbert is going to be running a play action, and then he's going to scramble towards the bottom of the screen. It's a design rollout on this play. So that's another aspect here. Herbert takes the snap. He does, you know, fake a handoff and rolls out in that direction. And at this point, what you have is, I've circled right there. I mean, there's no reason Herbert should be able to even think about this type of throw, right? It's going away from him. He's scrambled out towards the bottom of the screen. They're running towards the top of the screen. They're already, you know, a, a good chunk down the field. They're already 30 yards down the field, and it's going to be further by where he throws it. I mean, you, you can't make this throw. It's just, it's not something he should think about. Throw the ball away. Well, for most quarterbacks in the league, I would agree, Herbert is not most quarterbacks. I mean, look at this throw. I mean, you're not going to believe this. Look at it. That's just like, how is that possible? That's a Madden type play. I'm not even sure if you can do that in Madden. I'm not sure if it'll let you do it. That's that's ridiculous. And so again, with Herbert, it's crazy because he can run an offense and you know, he's still young. He still does look like a young player, but the explosive plays he makes, the highlight real level plays are Let's put him into maybe even the MVP consideration. He's been remarkable. So yeah, I mean, that's mainly my thought about Herbert is, listen, it's still not a perfect, uh, you know, season so far for him. He's had some really high highs, obviously. The Cleveland Browns game comes to mind. Uh, you know, the, the Kansas City Chiefs game, another one where he just went off. And this game where he completely went off. He still has had his rough patches, specifically the back-to-back -back weeks, uh, you know, with the, uh, well, I guess, uh, three two games in three weeks, but there was a bye sandwiched in between with the Ravens and the Patriots. So there have been some downsides. Like he still does have a couple of moments where you're like, oh yeah, you're a 23 year old player. Like right, that's right. But uh, I also think that definitely the the good outweighs the bad for Herbert. There's there's no denying that for me. The guy's playing uh, truly incredible football, and especially this past week against the Eagles, really just such a such a joy to watch. Unless you're an Eagles fan, I would assume. So yeah. Uh, that's what I thought about Herbert. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on Herbert and his performance against the Philadelphia Eagles? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.